every five minutes, someone in India is diagnosed with blood cancer or a blood disorder such as thalassemia or aplastic anemia. For many patients, their only chance of survival is a blood stem cell transplant from a matching donor. Only around 30% of patients find a matching donor within their own family. All other patients have to rely on finding a donor on the worldwide database. By joining the DKMS Stem Cell Donor Registry as a blood stem cell donor, you can give hope to patients and their families. This is simple and involves the following steps. Step 1. Donor Registration and Cheek Swab Sample Collection To register as a donor, go to our website at dkms.org slash register. Check your eligibility and complete a registration form. You will then receive a do-it-yourself swab kit at home. Follow the instructions. Take a swab of the inside of your cheeks and send it back to us with your signed consent form. We will analyze your swabs in our lab to determine your HLA characteristics which is important for matching with a patient. You are now available on the worldwide database. It may take days, weeks, months or even years before you come up as a match for someone. But if it does happen, you may be the only person who could give a patient in need a second chance at life. Step 2. Information Session and Confirmatory Typing Once you come up as a match for a patient, our DKMS coordinator will get in touch with you for a detailed info session. Ask a few questions about your health status and explain the peripheral blood stem cell donation method PBSC confirmatory typing. The step involves a blood draw to confirm that your HLA characteristics match with the patient and to check for a few important infectious diseases such as HIV, hepatitis, malaria, etc. You will also be asked to fill in a health questionnaire to confirm that there are no health issues preventing you from donating your blood stem cells. Step 3 confirmation of PBSE donation. Once it is determined that you are the best match and the patient is ready to proceed, we will schedule a medical assessment and the PBSE donation. Step 4. Consultation with a collection centre physician and medical assessment. You will be donating your blood stem cells at an authorised collection centre. You will meet a physician from the collection center who will explain the PBSC procedure, review your health condition and answer your questions. Detailed laboratory and diagnostic tests will be conducted to ensure you are fit and healthy to donate blood stem cells. Donor Final Clearance After the physical examination and the lab reports, the physician will give clearance confirming that you are medically fit to proceed with the donation. Your committed decision is of prime importance. Once the patient has been prepared to receive your stem cells, withdrawing would pose a serious risk to their life. Step 5. GCSF Administration Once you are cleared for the PBSE donation, you will undergo a 5-day course of GCSF injections. On the first 4 days, a nurse visits your house and administers the GCSF injection and on the 5th day, the injection will be given to you at the collection center before the PBSE donation. GCSF occurs naturally in the body and is used to increase the number of stem cells in your bloodstream you may feel some temporary discomforts such as cold or flu-like symptoms. These symptoms will disappear within a day or two following the donation and you can take non-aspirin products for relief from the discomfort. Step 6. Peripheral Blood Stem Cell Donation Congrats! You're almost there. You are now at the final stage, the day of the donation. You arrive at the collection center and settle down comfortably 
for a 3 to 4 hour process that does not involve any anesthesia or hospitalization. Blood is drawn through one vein, passed through an apheresis machine to collect your stem cells and the rest of the blood is returned to your body through the other arm. Occasionally, another donation may be required on the following day. Your body will quickly regenerate the level of blood stem cells to what they were before the donation. Your blood stem cells will be delivered straight to a patient in need to provide them with a second chance at life. Step 7. Post-donation care and follow-up Our team will follow up with you in the weeks and months after your donation to ensure that you are well. In due course, an update on the patient's health status will be sent to you. As per confidentiality and legal policy, some countries allow patients and donors to meet with mutual consent two years after the donation. DKMS is committed to helping every patient find a matching donor. Do your part. Register as a blood stem cell donor today at dkms.org slash register.